March 20, Friday of the third week of Lent. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, The Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, He is one and there is no other than he, and to love him, with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all the burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God, and no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. No other commandment greater than this. When Jesus is asked about the greatest of the commandments, he notes that love of God is the first imperative of true religion. However, in the same breath, he links love of God with love of neighbor. In short, authentic love simultaneously flows in two directions. Each authenticates and corroborates the other. John says, God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God, and God in him. Jesus shows us the way to love both God and neighbor with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our strength, and with all our mind with our entire person. What does it mean to love in this way? Several descriptions spring to mind. Tenderly, unceasingly, passionately, undeservedly, perseveringly. We are to love with the love of Jesus. Certainly, we need God's love and grace to fulfill the two-in-one commandment given by Jesus. How can I open my heart during this Lenten season so that it can be filled with God's love and then reciprocated in the mutual love of God and neighbor? <music>